All right, let's break this down. We got the thumbnail of this video right here. We got to really spot everything to see the difference between RTX off and RTX on. Glowing thing from the pickaxe is reflecting onto the face here. So if you come over here and if you really zoom in, what is that? Wait, let me make this bigger. Oh, yeah, guys, the thumbnail was fake. Th this is trying to show if you even know what ray tracing actually looks like. So the RTX image on the right actually just has two filters on it, a saturation filter. So boom, it's a little bit less saturated and it has a contrast filter. Okay. And look, they're the same image. This is what the rasterization one actually looks like. The shadows and reflections now you can see that the rasterization does a surprisingly good job of replicating what the real reflections and shadows are. Like it's surprisingly accurate. I think it's obvious that the main difference here is the colors. So what I did is I added a little filter to the rasterization one and uh, we get to check what that looks like. Now you can see that the rasterization one looks pretty similar to the RTX. The RTX actually does this completely natively. It is this beautiful thing called global illumination. So when light actually interacts with the space, it doesn't just reflect its pure white light. Light will actually reflect the color that it is attached to. If you notice here as well, there's light reflecting on the ground, which would mean this shadow on the pickaxe would realistically be filled. And you can see on the ray tracing image, it is, it looks natural. It actually looks natural. I don't know how to say it. Ray tracing is completely beautiful. But it's not just you guys watching this video wondering about how good ray tracing actually is. So let's ask some real gamers what they think about ray tracing. I don't even know what it is. You don't know what ray tracing is? No. So it's like in games, you know how like usually, well actually I don't know if you know this. Do you guys use ray tracing? No, I turn it off for more frames. Instead of like actually drawing like the light rays in games, usually is ray tracing like the future? There's too much ray tracing. Don't get me wrong, I love good graphics, but I don't like how everything has to be realistically on ray trace, you know what I mean? It's weird because it kind of takes away like the art style. Yeah. But ray tracing like actually, it shoots out rays from the light sources so that you get realistic lighting. You know, like, I feel like what ray tracing more of just makes the game harder to run, and honestly, it's more of just a buzzword. I'm a frames over looks guy, but the game can't look terrible. It can't be terrible, yeah, I agree. So, uh, no thoughts? I see you, um, you don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Okay, okay. That was a slightly biased test because this was an Overwatch, and Overwatch is a competitive game that usually prefers more FPS compared to more visuals. But I found it really funny that the takes were pretty much, why would you ever use it? And what is ray tracing? I don't know what it is. So these interviews reflect the majority. You tell me. Because real time ray tracing has been out for four and a half years now. Back then, the only games that supported it were Battlefield 5, Minecraft, and Control. Now that I've explained a lot of the cool techniques that ray tracing is able pr to produce, and I'm talking about the global illumination, shadows, reflections, and the subsurface scattering. Now I'm going to give you three games, and I'm going to give them to you blind. One perspective is going to be ray trace, and the other perspective is going to be rasterized. I want you to make a guess of which one is which. Even if you made a guess, even if you're for sure you know which one it is, you might want to also think which one you actually preferred the visuals of. I'm gonna start us off easy here with Fortnite. All right, put in your votes for which one you guys think is rasterized versus the one that is ray traced. Now, if you guys do not get this one, I'm going to be severely disappointed because I showed you what this game looked like earlier. And if you guys just weren't paying attention, to it, you're gonna have to like the video or something. Fortnite is also a very easy game to recognize when ray tracing is on. So I'm gonna reveal it here in three, two, one. On the left, it's the rasterized one, and on the right is the ray trace one. You guys better have gotten that one. All right, let's move on to the next game, which is The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 is an interesting case because this game came out in 2015 and they retroactively added ray tracing to it. And it does make a very striking visual difference. And we talked about the effects of it in Fortnite, so you should be able to get this one. Put in your votes, which one you think it is. I'm going to make the reveal in three, two, one. Okay, 
On the left was ray traced, and on the right was rasterized. A huge thing to notice here is that global illumination. In the rasterized one, the shadows kind of look too dark and almost muddy, whereas in the ray trace, it looks very, very natural. I don't know what else to say about it. It feels like the shadows are filled like they would be in real life. All right, let's move on to our next game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This one's gonna be tough. Now, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was one of the first games to ever have ray trace, and that's why this test is specifically difficult because it, the implementation wasn't that deeply integrated. It's just some minor differences, and if you can spot them, you're a genius. I'm gonna reveal these in three, two, one. On the left was ray traced, and on the right was rasterized. And the only main difference I could tell personally was that on some of the shadows, they looked a little bit less fuzzy in the ray traced one. But other than that, I'd be hard pressed to spot a major difference. Now, because the implementation in Shadow of the Tomb Raider wasn't that deep, actually the FPS hit wasn't that bad. I lost about 25% of the FPS. Compared to the other tests where I lost about half my FPS, this, this really wasn't that bad in the grand scheme of things. But was it worth the visual difference? I wouldn't really think so. In the end of things, ray tracing is beautiful, but do you really need it? Because it comes with its benefits and its downsides. As you can see here, rasterization has had a long life of maturity, cut dating back to all of traditional renders of video games, and has gotten very, very good at trying to replicate what the real world looks like without actually using physical rays. And at this point in time, rasterization runs so much faster than ray tracing. And when I turned on ray tracing, I dropped all the way down to 60 FPS. And uh, that performance hit, especially in a multiplayer game, isn't very much fun. But in a single player game, it might work out. Ray tracing also comes with its cost increase. And this is something that maybe not many people have thought about. But if you've noticed in the past few generations of graphics cards, they keep going up and up in price. And uh, I don't think that's for no reason. Because when Nvidia and AMD have to make their tensor cores and their ray accelerators to make these things happen, it's more and more manufacturing. So yes, their margins have continued to increase, but it also costs more to make the chips in general. That was clearly shown with the 20 series from Nvidia. And I'm just gonna bring up the example of the GTX 1070 versus its successor, the 2070. Now the 1070 launched about six and a half years ago now, and it cost $380. Then the 2070 launched two years later, and it cost $500. That was a 30% price increase. However, for two years of work and research and development, the 2070 was only 37% faster than the 1070 while costing 30% more. Nor was the ray tracing really even fast enough to be usable. So <laughs> the 20 series had a tough time. You can see in the next generation when AMD actually integrated ray tracing into their cards with their ray accelerators, the 6000 series from AMD started to kind of match the price of Nvidia. But the but real-time ray tracing is still new tech. So the day that most people could actually afford a graphics card that can comfortably run ray tracing, then that is probably when ray tracing might kill rasterization. But I think it's going to be a while. But that begs the question, should you care about ray tracing right now? If you're someone who's deciding maybe between an AMD or Nvidia card, should you care about ray tracing? And my argument is, yes, ray tracing is cool, but I don't really think you should care about it right now. And that's, that's simply to say that games that most people play, almost none of these games have ray tracing. And uh, they're usually multiplayer games that people play very consistently. And multiplayer games are typically competitive and you want higher FPS in those games. If you're just like an average person that isn't trying to chase the highest end visuals in their video games for single player or whatever, I don't really think you should worry about it. I don't use ray tracing typically. Although despite all of this, I think of the advantages for animation studios. I know a technique similar to this was actually used in The Mandalorian and they used a like a room and it had screens in the background. Instead of actually building all of these sets, they made them an Unreal Engine. They were just the background. It, uh, to me, that's really cool. And that's like the future of what creative apps and stuff can do. But marketing it towards the mainstream audience of like gamers, I think that's kind of a hard sell. Let me know what you guys think about that. It's great technology that again, as I've said in many of my videos, just needs time to mature. And then we can actually get to the point where it's like rasterization. It's just like, 
yeah, you're getting all this FPS. It feels so good. But yeah, um, until it does, I'll see you guys in the comments. Peace.